first you need to see this. Okay. I've got a riddle for you. A riddle about the city of Maastricht, of what it is, what it is not, and most of all, of what it is to become, what it needs to become. The riddle has three parts, and that in itself is a clue. Together, they lead you to a name that is its solution, and that is for you to guess at the end. The first part is about the city of Maastricht. The second part is about a place in Maastricht where new things will happen and old things will transcend. And the third part is about the place. Its name is for you to guess. Part one is what we have, this lovely city with its very unpractical pavements. Maastricht, where or around which we live, temporarily or forever, 150 nationalities, a true mountain, splendid surroundings, 50 churches, a mosque, a synagogue, a university, 15 allotment gardens, a mayor, seven theatres, two cinemas, many lively neighbourhood associations, a tremendous amount of woodwind and brass bands, symphony orchestras, choirs and a river that flows and flows, that drowns our cellars, that connects us and that divides us. Maastricht is a city where or around which we live. It is a rich city, but not everybody participates in its wealth. It is a colourful city, but we don't always know what to make of it. It's a friendly city, but it also deals with exclusion ex and exclusiveness. It's a puzzling city, right in the middle of Europe and with no trains to Aachen. A creative city, a fragmented city, a polluted city that desperately tries to be chic and shun. It is a home to school kids, professionals, artists, carnival goers, pensioners, journalists, laborers, Catholics, Muslims, Jews, agnostics, tramps, students, children, academics. It's home to a rich history and a rich contemporary life. This is the city in which we live and in which we are diversely different. This is part two, what we not have. We live with so many and we know so few. We talk in many tongues, but hardly do we meet. We worry of the world around us, but we have no place, no space that is always there and where we're always invited and welcomed to question and to reflect on our world together. Oh yes, we meet, but in very compartmentalized ways. Artists meet with artists, gardeners with gardeners, intellectuals with intellectuals, neighbors with neighbors, migrants with migrants. We are a multiplicity of sections that share an urban space, inhabitants, not necessarily citizens of Maastricht. And oh yes, our paths and routes and cross and overlap at points, like song lines in a bare landscape. But the city lacks a public space that stages these overlaps, that engenders active and connective citizenship. So here's what we will create. Maastricht, whether cultural capital or not, desperately needs a safe and comfortable place to stage citizenship and celebrate culture, where rich co collaborations can be formed, where existing, but with existing, but also with new people and new organizations. And we will make this place happen. Who's we? This is who we are. He is your dream team. Hup Mudde for Maastricht Debates, Piet Menu of the House van Bourgondië, David de Pre of Lumière, Sueli Brodin of the European Journalism Center and Petja Kutja, and Bernike Pasveer of Knowledge Travels. What will happen? We will turn the Timmerfabriek and furnish a place, a laboratory for all of us. A place and a space where our diverse diversity can turn into an asset of this city. Where we can work, create, listen, question, engage, move and be moved and find new ways of reflection and encounter. A place for inspiring conversations it will be, for constructive disagreements, intriguing questions, puzzling reflection, engaged citizenship, wonderful surprises. Where we can plan fast when urgent matters are at stake and slow when engaging with striking, burning, hot, crucial issues of our times. A place of wisdom it will be, of riddles, of mysteries, of truths, diversity, unity, secrets. A place with many horizons that will engage the people in the city in ways that will move and change Maastricht and make it grow and evolve. We will turn the Timmerfabriek into the place 
where Maastricht performs itself as an open city that celebrates the crucial importance of all that is increasingly vulnerable today, like the possibility of constructive disagreements, like diversity, like culture. A place in and of Maastricht to be proud of. The place will enrich the city just as similar places enrich, enrich other cities in this country. But it will be special as it will stage activities that merge theatre, movies, music and conversation so as to enc encourage participants and audiences to reinvent themselves and become curious, not defensive. So there's two crucial elements to this place. First, it will engage the people from and around Maastricht and celebrate our diversity through inspiring engagements and a surprising connections. And second, the hybridity of your dream team, a journalist, a knowledge worker, a connector, a film programmer, a theatre man, and the occasional other disciplines will afford experiments with forms and formats that encourage a rich public realm. So this is what constitutes the riddle, what we have, the city of Maastricht, what we have not, and what we will make happen. So riddle, riddle, what's its name? It is up to you now, and you have got 20 seconds to shout to me. Let me hear you. What will be the name of this place? Come on. Another one. Go on. You've got names. Heaven. <laughs> You've got only five seconds left. <laughs> Sphinx it will be, Sphinx it will be. Sphinx will contemplate and question and celebrate the city and the world with you, the people from Maastricht and around. It will be hybrid in form, in content, in programming, creative and participative per default. Thank you. <laughs>